Hi, it's Richard here from the Siebel Hub with the latest in our What's New in IP 2015 video series. We're going to quickly look at what it takes to get the mobile disconnected client up and running. I'm using Siebel Call Center as my main administrative platform, so on a brand new installation I'm going to go into the sitemap and go to Administration Server Configuration Component Groups. I'm going to query for the two handheld synchronization component groups and make sure that they are both enabled and assigned to my Siebel server before performing all necessary administration relation to, in relation to enabling component groups. I will also, if I am not using Siebel Pharma Mobile, need to go to my component definitions and query for and then copy an existing component definition. Here you can see the mobile data extract ENU component, which is the standard one. And down below you can see that I've created a copy of it, for example, for Siebel Field Service Disconnected Mobile Client. These steps are documented and are necessary if you're not using Siebel Pharma Mobile as your test application. In addition, don't forget to change any parameter values, specifically the application name, the language and the repository name. Now we're heading off to Administration Mobile Settings and selecting our application. Selecting whichever application we intend to use, we must make sure that the parameter for the data extraction component now matches the new component definition that we've just created and activated in the previous step. This is only true if we are not using Siebel Pharma Mobile for our demo. Now we'll head off to Administration Siebel Mobile, Mobile Clients, and we'll make sure that our mobile client is defined in this screen. This screen is similar and yet unique in the sense that it looks just like the Siebel Remote Mobile Client, but on the right-hand side, for example, you can see the application name. So my user is actually my mobile client is actually assigned to an mobile application. And on the left-hand side, you can see that the mobile client includes the minus mobile, which is added automatically when creating a mobile client from this screen. Back to the administration menu and back to server management, jobs. And I'm going to run database extract for my mobile client. Once this step is complete, wherever your Siebel server is, you should be able to see in that folder the HHSync folder and any subfolders relating to the mobile application that you're in the process of preparing with metadata in the subfolder. Now if I launch my mobile application and go offline, assuming this is not the first time that I've gone offline, as detailed in the post, we should be able to make changes in the offline client and then see them synchronized in the Siebel call center platform in the back end. For example, here in my contacts list, I'm going to change the Mr. and Mrs. field to give each of these contacts, to give each of these contacts a Mr. and Mrs. value. Then I'm going to go to my offline and say that I wish to synchronize and stay offline. So I'm going to push my changes to the server. Now with my changes committed and my synchronization request made, I'm going to switch back to Siebel Call Center. When I first go to the Contacts tab, I may get the impression that nothing has worked because the values are not yet updated. Switching to Administration Server Management, I'll see, however, that the batch sync job is still active. Waiting a little while until the batch sync job is successfully completed, we should see the changes. Still active. And finally, now we see the changes. As we've shown before, the Siebel Disconnected Mobile uses your browser's capability to handle and hold a data store which is visible in the developer tools. So here in the web SQL, we can see the Oracle Siebel 81X local data store and a variety of tables created by the offline JavaScripts, 
including a sync table, and here you can see two sync requests regarding contact objects, the two records that I've just been modifying. Well, I hope you enjoyed this rapid walkthrough of the Siebel Mobile Disconnected Client, and look forward to seeing you again in another video soon. Bye-bye.